Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a pretty much easy meal. Um, you don't have to spend much on it and it's great, especially around the colder time. And I love it because it's full of great um, nutrients inside of it. And it's great, especially around the colder times, like I said. And I just love it and the kids love it. So I'm going to actually be doing it for this morning so we could actually have it for lunch. Um, most of us inside the home are actually sick, including myself. So it's really great. So I'm going to do it really fast right now, um, especially since I have to take my oldest to school. He's actually the only one that's not sick, and it'll be great and ready for lunch. take Brother to school? Cheese. I wanted to show you guys her. She's just saying cheese right now. I got this from the Wish app, and oh my goodness, I just love it for her. And she's not feeling good, my poor baby girl. You don't feel good, mamas? Yeah. Mommy, what's inside, oh, what's inside baby mommy? Baby lippy, you little baby lippy. Mm. <laughs> mommy. I'll fit for today. Hi, baby. Mm. <laughs> but I love the Wish app, especially around the winter times, because I got in this and I got in a few other ones, especially for my oldest boys. And they love it, she loves this too. You love your new scarf? You love your new scarf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this recipe is pretty much simple. It is a crock pot is what you'll need. I have some water inside of it already. I would usually put diced tomatoes, but if you have um, tomato paste, it's fine as well. You're going to need like this little small can of tomato paste. These are also really good. Um, they have like different ones. So then you have these like shell ones, or they have, or they have these um, like macaroni noodle ones. Um, really, you just need one package. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the different varieties that they do have of styles. Um, you just need one package, and then your um, 16 bean soup mix, and. I like doing this one because it has all the beans that they will need. It has your black beans, your green beans, lima beans, and so on from there. Um, so that's what I think is really, I like this one just because it has all 16 of your little beans inside of it and it's great. Especially around um, the more colder times, it's great to use just pretty much this simple recipe here. You're going to empty the beans, let those cook, and then... Um, just before um, those completely cook all the way, empty a bag of your noodles. These ones actually cook pretty fast, so that's why I suggest these ones. You can usually find these package of little ones. So sorry, my alarm went off. Okay, so you can find usually a small little pack of these in your Mexican section or Hispanic section or multi-culture section. S different stores have different names for that section, but it is your... Um, Mexican section, Hispanic, like I said, um, section, and they're like 47 cents for just this pack or something, and then these you could get pretty much anywhere, um, again, they're anywhere between 50 cents to a dollar, depending on where you get it, what store, and then this was actually a dollar 79, and this is, I actually got it at the Mexican store, um, so this was a dollar 79 just for this. And it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to put all this in here. Go ahead, put my crock pot on high so then it'll be just enough time for um, lunch. And it's easy, something quick and easy, something good for um, your guys' family. And I cook for about two hours. Um, sorry, my kids right now. <laughs> it's morning, they're cranky. But, um,. It'll cook for about two hours, just the beans, and then you'll do your pasta for like 20 minutes or less. The pasta, like I said, these ones usually cook fast. And then you'll add your uh, tomato sauce, or you could add diced tomato. It is really up to you. Um, you can add meat to the soup if you want to. It's your choice. Um, this is just pretty much a simple way of doing it. Um, I'll see you guys soon, and let's get started. Okay, so here are the beans. I like to wash my beans and rinse them. Um, you can let them soak for a little while if you want to. I just usually put it in like that. Especially since lunch time is just a little while away. So, 
you put your beans in first, go ahead, put it on the uh, crock pot, put it for an hour, and then when they're almost cooked, um, some of like the pinto beans will actually, you will see how um, split they may look and cook them that way. And then once you know that they are almost cooked or completely cooked, you can go ahead and pop one of your little bags of pastas inside. And your tomato sauce if you want that. It usually gives it a nice flavor as well. Um, again, salt and pepper to your liking. Uh, I sometimes add a little garlic salt to it and some Italian seasoning just to give it a little bit more of a flavor. And that's kind of just how we like it. And um, around, like I said, we are sick. Or the majority of us are sick in the home. So this is just a easy, simple recipe that you could easily do. And it's like one pot <laughs> not much of a big hassle of a cleanup and I hope you guys enjoy this small little recipe and I'll see you guys when it is done I'm gonna just put it on my crock pot on high okay hey everyone so it's just about time ready for lunch and the beans are actually all nice and cooked here as you can see all nice and cooked already did my seasoning Oh my goodness, so sorry. I already did my seasoning for this, so that is done. Um, so here is the tomato paste. Um, you could add the whole thing if you want to. I sometimes do. Um, you could also do just half the can if you want to. It's really all up to you. How tomato tasty do you want it? <laughs> tomato tasty. How much tomato... Um, taste you actually want in this. Again, it is up to you. Simple and easy. Using one of my kids' little lunch forks here. I'm going to be using. Stir that around. Give it a couple stirs going on here. Then we're going to open our bag of noodles. The noodles in there. Give it another oof, give it another little stir. So all the noodles could go everywhere. And then stir because there is like still that clunk of tomato paste. Sorry, not the best of lighting right now. I have my crock pot on one of the little counters off from the kitchen. And so it's never good lighting. My husband's been wanting to put some lights on the top so you could see better here. He's kind of wanting to put them everywhere. But, um, yeah. Anyways, just keep stirring it, especially for the clumps of the tomato paste. So keep stirring it for that. Then close it, let it cook, let the pasta cook completely, and it doesn't take really long for that kind of pasta to ever cook, so about like 10 minutes or less, um, yeah, so like about 10 minutes or less, and then it's ready to serve and you're ready to eat it, but like I said, look at those beans, they look so yummy, I want some right now, I'm not.
um, this I love making for them because they eat it up like nothing and again it gives you all the great nutrients that you need from the 16 beans that are in here and that's what I love and you could also do this even if you're like a vegan or anything a vegetarian or a vegan it's really great for that as well again it gives you all your protein it gives you all your nutrients because it has split peas it has black beans it has garbanzo beans it has um, lima beans, red lima beans, uh, white lima beans, I guess that's what you would call those big ones. Uh, pinto beans, it has like a whole bunch of beans inside of it, I can't remember what else. Black beans, what else is there? Um, black eye beans, like, I'm trying to name you guys all the beans that it has. Um, but it has those and like so many more, yeah, like so much more. an idea for you guys um i hope you guys liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up a um a thumbs up <laughs> like him thumbs up right there don't burn yourself a thumbs up and subscribe hit that subscribe button if it is red um there is a little bell by it and if you press that you'll get notifications when i post videos and don't forget to comment down below how did you guys have you guys tried it and if you did let me know how you guys liked it how did you guys prepare it sometimes people put meat in it um, like hamburger meat or you could also do turkey meat turkey ground meat um, you could do that as well I'm just thinking of the turkey right now because I'm wanting to make turkey meatballs later on but um, yeah anyways you can put meat in it if you want it if you are a meat eater you can leave it like this if you aren't a meat eater and you are a vegan person it is great um, for children wise go ahead and top it off with some uh, little goldfishes and it will be perfect for them as well it gives them that child kind of play going on right there with their soup and that's what I kind of like about my children is I'd be I like doing it my husband's like don't baby them anyways long story short I like putting little goldfishes in it especially if you want to be an adult you could go ahead and have a little goldfishes inside your soup as well don't worry no one will know anyways um yeah so I hope you guys liked it see you guys next time for the next video bye